Hello everyone, I am Maneshwari, Assistant Professor, Department of Basic Information Technology at Dr. SNS Rajeshmi College of Arts and Science. Now I would like to explore my topic lecture video in uh, Software Processing Model. I am going to explain about Software Process Model. What is the Software Process Model? The model which describes how the software can be developed. It has a lot of model uh, based on our need. We can choose any of the listed model from software processing. A software process model is an abstract representation of a process that represents a description of a process from some particular perspective. The common perspectives are the specification. It is nothing but defining what should the system do and what should not do. Uh, that means uh, we have to specify what are all the hardware and software requirements needed for, uh, for that uh, software development process. Design and implementation. Design means we can uh, we can, we will design uh, the software applications before de developing that actual one. Uh, based on the design, we can uh, implement that particular uh, actual software. Validation. Validation is nothing but testing our software or the actual software or software modules after one uh, once it, it, it gets completed. Evaluation. Uh, changing the system in response to the changing the customer needs. Uh, the customer needs are not a constant one. Based, uh, it's it may it, it will be a dynamic one. Uh, the customer will need will be changed. So uh, whenever it uh, the needs will be changed, we can we have to implement the changes inside our process uh, developed software also. Types of software process model. This includes various types. Uh, various types of model uh, based on our cus uh, customer perspective we can choose any of the model the list of processing models are waterfall model v model incremental model rad model agile model iterative model spiral model and prototyping model these are the, these are the available software development model we can choose any of this model waterfall model this waterfall model which broke break down entire project activities into a linear sequential phases where each phase depends, depends on the deliverables of the previous one and corresponds to the specialization of the task. The input or the output of the one phase will be then will, will be an input for the next phase. So, uh, the, uh, so that uh, it will uh, it will be like a waterfall. Uh, waterfall. So, since here we have a lot of uh, stages. The first one is requirement stage. Requirement requirement stage. Here, the, in this stage, we have to collect the hardware and software requirements which can be uh, involved inside the development process. Design. Design is nothing but before uh, developing our software application, we have to uh, create a blueprint for our uh, developed software. Deplo develop it. It is the actual product uh, project development. In this pro in this stage, we have to develop our software based on the uh, earliest phase, that is design phase. Testing. Once the development is completed, we have to pass that particular module or particular software to the testing phase. Once the testing has been successful, we can uh, implement or install our software inside the system. Uh, after deploying our application, the customer need will be changed or upgraded. Based on the upgrade, we can we have to maintain and uh, we have to uh, update our software uh, modules also. In this model, if any of the phase having uh, error, that error will be caused to the next phase. So it uh, this is the drawback of this phase. But it, uh, during the advantages is uh, it is a linear uh, linear stage, so it can be it can be easily de de deployed and it is also a basic software uh, development model which is preferable for the short term projects. Incremental model. Uh, it has uh, in all, all the incremental model. It has common four stages: analysis, design, code, and test. In analysis stage, we have to analyze whether the uh, particular software can be developed, and uh, we uh, and whether we have to analyze we have a uh, software requirement and hardware requirement and human resources etc. 
after analysis is completed once we have we have uh, we are satisfying all the needs we can go on go, uh, we, we have to go beyond to um, designing stage once the designing has been completed the coding will be uh, the coding will be occurred after completing our coding we, it will be tested here um, one, uh, once the uh, analysis uh, uh, the next phase is started only when the first previous phase should be completed uh, in incremental 1, 2, 3 refers while um, the first uh, increment phase is not uh, is not good that means it may be a failure we have to move on increment 2 up to that we have uh, up to we are reaching a successful development we have to follow those stages periodically uh, that is called that is what uh, the, this model we call it as an incremental model. Thank you.